Hey guys, Clue here with episode 22 of PC Building Simulator 2. It has uh, been a hot minute since I uploaded a PC Building Simulator 2 uh, video with a lot of things happening in other games I'm playing. However, you know, I feel like this, this was the game that made me want to start uh, uploading videos, so I need to get back to it and get stuff uh, going here. All right, so we are going to look at our tablet. Um, I think in the last couple episodes, we messed up on a couple jobs or I uh, messed up on a few things. So we our bongo rating is not quite five. So we're going to have to hold off on this. Um, this job, if we can even make it, because we have seven days before it goes uh, late. All right, so let's uh, head over here. Um, I guess Divinity. Um, what do they want? They run an exclusive speed date, speed dating skydiving group. That's scary. Um, anyway, they need us to upgrade the storage on the computer and remove viruses. So let's go ahead and accept that. We have $200 to get uh, 1.5 terabytes of storage. So let's see here. What do they got in their computer now? Looks like they just have a regular hard drive. Let's take a look at this uh, in the store. Um, it does have M.2 slots. However, let's see. Price-wise, we're looking $200. Yeah, it's not going to get it done, is it? on the 1.5 uh, terabytes. Um, so yeah, it looks like we're going to have to go cheaper. Um, can we afford a... I mean, we could afford two SSDs. Or we could just go cheap and get a Get them a large uh, hard drive. Listen, this is the store video on. Um. Yeah, let's just uh, so we'll just get them a big hard drive. Okay. Let's see here. Just got to apply some stickers, uh, install data mine, deduffle. Okay. All right. So we got that stuff coming, those computers coming. So we'll go ahead and end the day. Did we? Okay. Oh. Nope. What? A, I'm a, I'm must be new to this. I got to check out my cart here all right I have started looking at building uh, in the game building the new computer that I built in real life however the closest case to what I have is not I haven't unlocked it here in career mode we could go into um, free build and build a pretty close uh, facsimile, but I think it's I'm just gonna hold out until I unlock the case in career mode and that would be the thermal take core p5 if you're wondering I guess also there's a chance that by the time we unlock that case maybe they'll update the game with some newer uh, am5 motherboards or 4090 GPUs we will see okay let's go ahead and do this customization job we need to apply three Steel Series case stickers. All right. Fits on the end. What do we want to do here? Four glory on the bottom. Um. Oh. Shrink that down a little bit. Time well wasted. 
And then a little Steel Series logo on top. Okay. Let's look at our secondary objectives for this job. I could do with a data mine. Um, and it's dusty. Alright, so we'll clean out the dust here. Let's get this started up while we are cleaning out the dust. Uh, compressed air. Can definitely get this thing cleaned out. All right. Put the cover back on it. Go in here. Let's install a data mine. Scroll down here. All right. That should be it. Let's go ahead and put that down there. We got our upgrade job here. Pretty sure this is uh, no uh, secondary uh, secondary um, objectives. So we just need to install this bad boy. Oh. Them. Okay, there we go. Can install this or uh, start it up and put on our antivirus protection. And close it up. That's a nice looking computer there. If, uh, you like that? You like hearts? Let's install our virus scanner. A lot of, uh, whoa, 752 viruses. Holy cow. Or I guess infected files. All right. So that looks like we are good to go for this day. So let us turn these jobs in and see what uh, customers are needing us for here. Okay. Good deal. Um, don't need any broken PCs right now. Oh, thing. Okay, got an urgent. Um. Somebody that has a little bit of issues uh, typing, making sense, have a hard time uh, telling exactly what's going on here. Uh, thermal scan, phone. Okay, let's go ahead and get this computer in here and we'll figure out what's wrong with it. Um, and then we got this other one here. Wants to build a PC, $4,000. Um, Want to play Heavy Metal Demon Hunter? Okay, and then we can install Document Reader and paint the case cyan. We like it. So let's uh, accept this and let's go to our PC and open up Will It Run for heavy. I'm pretty sure we don't have that one on our tablet. Uh, yeah, okay. So let's open up stuff here on our desktop. Okay, shop. And will it run heavy metal demon hunter? Let's go. Surely we can uh, uh, afford the 4K spec. Let's go ahead and this. Do need 16 gigabytes of RAM. Um, at least 8 gigabytes of VRAM on the graphics card, 80 gigs of storage, that won't be a problem. A Core i5-8400 and RTX 2080. These are all things we will easily have in whatever computer we go with here. Alright. Is there an exciting case I want to go with, or just something simple? Um, I am liking the look of the fractal torrent right now. 
Let's go ahead and get that. So we are, let's go to our power supplies here. And get us, what do we want to get here? Maybe like a Corsair RM750X. Should be enough for whatever we get. I say that, but do I want to get something a little bit better? Or do we want to make sure? I feel like maybe we should go for like the EVGA Supernova instead. Give us more wiggle room on our graphics card and processor if we do end up going bigger. Never too concerned. This, get up that. All right, now we got to decide how we're going to play all of our main parts here. What are we thinking? I'm pretty sure they still haven't added very many uh, or any 790 boards. Which isn't so fun then to use the new uh, 13th gen processors, but maybe we still will. Um, maybe a fancy uh, Rogue Maximus Z690 Apex. Let's do it. So we can get ourselves some DDR5 with this. Um, top of the line Intel processor. Thinking we just go with the very lovely 13600K. Very lovely processor to play games on. Maybe I should have uh, took you guys away to pick this stuff out, but just kind of wanted to go through choosing this stuff with you this time. Because I kind of forgot that in the game, DDR5 is very expensive. Um, haven't really reflected the prices going down a little bit in real life, so let's go ahead and go with some G skill. Can we afford 32 gigs? We'll find out. Go ahead and get a cooler. Ooh, do I want to get a fractal design cooler to go along with our torrent? Let's go ahead and get a 240. And then, let's see, that still leaves us, that leaves us like 20, 2150 for a graphics card. So pretty much, we can get a 3090 or a 6950 XT. Um, we did get an EVGA um, power supply, so maybe we get an EVGA graphics card also in memory of EVGA RIP all right so we go with it let's go ahead and get that stuff in here all right let's go back here all right so we should be good let's go to the next day All right, good. A lot of parts to pick up here. Um, I guess we can get started working on this, on that fix. Yeah, there's not going to be any uh, secondary objectives, so we'll just be trying to find the problem. 
There we go. I think we need to paint the case cyan. That's what they wanted. And cyan. Okay. Okay, I wonder if on any of these I didn't get, I didn't get full points on, I didn't paint it enough? I don't know, I mean, without doing glass, I think that's 100% done. I don't really want to paint over the glass. We're gonna go with it. Let's get it opened up here. Let's get our power supply for the build. Let's go ahead and get cyan cables picked out to go with our cyan paint scheme. Um, put that. Let's get our motherboard put in here. Open up the CPU socket. Get everything closed down there. Some uh, thermal paste on. Okay. Get our memory in here. Like so. Um, fan cover. What was that? Hmm. I don't know. I think our AIO is going to have to go in place of these fans. We could have. Oh, I didn't need to do that. I'm a little out of practice here. It's been a while since I played the game. Which you can probably tell. Anyway, let's get our graphics card in here. Okay. And our cooler. Oh, it's gonna look terrible. Um, I could put it. It wouldn't look good. Um. I do not like that at all, but that's what we bought, so I'll have to deal with it. What is this fan cover thing? Hmm. And like that, and fancy cover, oh, missing cable. And can we fit, uh, did we not, can we fit, yep, let's get this thing some good cooling, and I think that is it, oh, what was that, oh, it's um, I'm kind of making a fool of myself here this episode. Alright, let's get her booted up. Activate XMP. Alright. Alright, what they, did they need Document Reader, was it? Yep, document reader. We painted it cyan. Okay. Let's go ahead and put on lighting app and document reader. Let's go in here. Get us nice cyan lighting. Um, Alright, 
So there is that. Looking good. Do I like the static? Yeah, that's pretty nice. Okay. Send that off to the customer. Now we're going to figure out what's wrong with this bad boy. Um, not starting up. Probably either the motherboard or the power supply. Power supply is easier to get out, so we'll check that first. I'm going to go ahead and change to black cables for when we start cabling this back up so I don't forget. Okay, what we got on this? Yep, broken power supply. Oh wait, uh oh, I don't know which one we pulled out. I'm pretty sure it was this one. Oh, okay, whoops. So we need to get an FSP Hydro ETM650W. The heck? The search bar's broke. What the heck's going on there? There it is. Um, let's just get this here. Let's go ahead and get a rush job on it. Go ahead and see if this does the trick. Still don't think that's going to be all of it. Let's go into the bio, see if anything sticks out to us. Looks like it can see everything. Okay. Let's go ahead and come in here. Let's take a look at the thermal app. He did, he or she did say that it was hot. Uh oh, so looks like we have a ram stick that is faulty okay let's take it out and see i think it was this one let's see here check it out yep faulty all right so let's get us a another ram stick ordered and i will once again pay good money to get this in here. I think this will be the fastest way. Let's rush this. Okay. Get the new RAM installed. Uh oh. Still not everything. All right. Well, let's. Think everything looks good there. Is it a problem with the? Fans? They don't look like they're turning unless that's just a graphical glitch. Let's check it out. Ugh, it's rough. Okay. Case fans, no? They are all fine. Okay. Hmm. What else could it be? Is there... Didn't look like it was faulty. Is there something wrong with the CPU cooler? No. Well, I think I'm going to have to take the 
uh, easy way out and take everything out of here. So, I, oh, is there multiple hard drives? Maybe something is wrong with the hard drive. Oh. Yeah. This, of course, is maybe not the most fun way of doing it, but I do not know what else it might be, so. Just, uh. Uninstall everything, and then we'll be able to find out what's wrong. Alright, so we got an empty case here. Let's go ahead and start with the storage. It looks to be fine. Alright. Uh, the case fans are all good. Look. Okay, what about the motherboard? Oh, faulty motherboard. Even said at the beginning that it could have been the motherboard or the... Alright. So let us get... Oh, which one is it? Gigabyte uh, B250M Gaming 5. Alright. Well, rush this too. We just, I mean, we did waste like $300 on this job, but that's fine. We want to uh, give our customers great service, get it done fast. We didn't really waste much time there. We would have had to take in most everything out anyway. The CPU installed here. Go ahead and thermal paste on. All right. Put their cooler back on. The memory installed. Oh, okay. All right, we got everything back in, I think. Let's see, well, I lock back in there. It's our dust filter up top. Um, fan not connected, okay. Okay, side panel and side panel. Gonna boot it up. Awesome. And again, if I'm right, yep. Okay, so we should be good on that one. So let's take it back to the hallway. Alright, and see if we did everything right. Hopefully he likes his build, playing Heavy Metal Demon Hunter. Awesome. Five stars. That give it get us up to five stars? No, not quite. It looks like we're close though. Um, don't need that. All right, so I think we've been going long enough. I really uh, appreciate you guys joining me today. I'm sorry if it went a little slow my first time playing again. Um, but it looks like maybe next time we can get level 22. That is exciting, and uh, we'll be doing some more custom builds in the future. So as we journey to 30, thank you for joining me. And if you like the video, like the video and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next one.